So, of all the projects to have won this year's Valent Heat Pump Challenge, this next one is particularly juicy. I like it because it sets out to challenge so many preconceptions. It is a stone-built structure. It is historic. It's a barn conversion. And it's listed. Hello, morning, John. Kevin. Pleased to see you. And you, pleased to meet you too. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. Would you like to come in? I'd love to, thank you. I want to know about this machine that you put in. The common view is that somehow historic buildings are harder to heat oh, and consequently their performance is always going to be affected by the actual the fabric of the, the fabric. building. But I want to know in this case how effective the system you put in is. So has it made a difference to your bills? Has it made a difference to the yeah, comfort well, levels in the house? Before we had just a gas boiler, normal gas boiler, oversized because gas boilers are, you're burning way more gas than you needed to. I've not had the system in a year yet, but I've just done some quick calculations. I'm spending now probably only about a thousand a year on electricity, totally. Good grief. I, I just find that staggering. At, at a time when if you were running on gas and you're under your previous regime, you'd be spending two or three... I'd be spending more than that, purely because, yeah, I've got the gas and the electric. So wow. there are genuine savings. Tell me about the day-to-day -day experience of living with the, the heat generated by the heat pump, which is a bit more constant. To start with, I upsized all my radiators in the house. So I replaced the radiators with the information that was given from IMS I put the size in that was required to eat the space we've got. When I get up in the morning, 6.30, make a cup of tea, put the heating up to 19 degrees, say, on the heat pump. By 7 o'clock, 7.15, toasty warm. That Seriously, quick. yeah, that quick. I'm not exaggerating there. I'm just looking behind you, thinking that that kettle over there probably has an app that comes with it. Does the heat, the heat right. everything comes with the remote yeah. control on your phone? So I can now, might visit our son in Derby on the app, Yes, I can put my heating to come on when we're half an hour from home, so I know it'll be warm enough. I can see exactly how many kilowatts I've used, and it really is extremely informative and easy to use. So, um, I think you've got, I think you've got, is it, is it Lee? From, Lee from IMS is outside. Do I, 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 IMS, they're your um, installer? Yes. yes. Oh, oh no, yes. we should go yeah. meet him. Yeah, let's no, go and see him. The machine. Hi Lee, Kevin, how are you? Yeah, not so bad, thank you. Good, this is all your work? The installation, yeah? yeah? That's it, yeah, this is our work. Not, not the wrapping, that's uh, John's idea. Oh, I thought you were offering kind of customization as part of your deal. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't take the credit for that, it's all John's idea. It's though. nice, John. Yeah. It sits so well in place here, really does sit well. Tell me something, I mean, this, this is obviously a uh, collaboration <laughs> to an extent, yes. this project, but how, for you Lee, how important is it that you, you come at these things with an enlightened client like John? Yeah, I mean, it's, there's a bit of education around heating systems as a whole, really, with heat pumps, you know, so it's good when a customer is on board and listens to what we're telling them, really, so that they can understand what we're, what we're trying to deliver for them, really, and it always makes them more of a successful installation, really. I want to know, John, about this building, because this is um, stone-built, it'll have an external and internal skin, the walls will be what? Are, are they... A couple of foot thick. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, big thermal mass, Yes. but actually not that insulated in terms of modern insulence or... Andrew from IMS did hate loss calc. Yeah. Quite an awkward place with having a very big kitchen to work out exactly what the heat we needed. And what size is this unit? It's a seven kilowatts. Seven kilowatts. Yeah, yeah. it's very modest. Works really, really well. People are worried about the noise that these make. Now in summer, when we've got the hot water, you can hardly hear it. My son-in-law who's said, is it on? It was on. In winter, when it was cold, yeah, slightly noisier because it has to work that bit harder. Yeah, yeah. And it's invisible. Look, this is a chameleon heat pump. Look at <laughs> Almost. <it. laughs> Almost. I don't think I could imagine meeting a more enthusiastic promoter of heat pump technology than John. But you see, what I find most fascinating about his story and his relationship with this machine is that it's a more integrated approach. So he's got an electric car and a large solar array, the heat pump technology, of course, and magically that 7.5p off-peak tariff. 
And it's in the combination of those that he's saving himself a huge amount of cash every year. And most excitingly of all, he's doing it with a grade two listed building.